All right, got another video here today. How to be successful without failing. And here's something that has helped me a lot in my life. And to be honest, it's gonna help you a lot in your life as long as you can hone this and figure it out and accept it and understand that it is the right way to be, to gain from other people the way I wouldn't say the right way. Let me take that back. Let me just say this is the way that you need to be in order to get to you to where you want to be without failure. So my point is, just rephrasing the title, how to be successful without failing. Okay, here you go. All you gotta do is see what other people have done to fail. Now this, this does not always work for you 100% of the time because other people can do things with their body that you cannot. And you could do other things with your body that others can't. So, for instance, if you're trying to eat a certain way, eat a certain amount, it might not work for you as well. But you can find the general characteristics that will find it. So this goes with anything now, right? Any general characteristic and uh, just that people fail because of. So, for instance, for handstands, I do. I'm a hand balancer. I, I do handstands, right? I can learn from other people and find that their mistakes just by asking them and watching them and learn from them. So my point is, the example here is a lot of times people go from two hands and they just pick up their other hand and they try and balance. They don't shift, they don't lean, they don't do anything like that. And that will never get you to do a one-arm handstand. So what did I have to do? I had to see other people do that. I had to experience that myself in order to fail and mess up. But we're trying to get you to succeed without failing, right? So what you have to do is you have to catch yourself before you make that mistake and learn from that. So basically what it takes is it takes planning before you do something. A good example of this is business. If you want to start a business, you've got to see what other people have done to fail. From there, you can figure out all the ways that you can fail. You need to learn how to fail in order to succeed because you have to avoid all the ways to fail and you'll find how to succeed. So basically what you have to do is you have to do your homework and find out what it will take to fail. What will make you fail. And, for, and with that comes how to succeed. And figure out how to succeed will in turn get you to succeed. So what it takes is it takes asking other people. It takes researching. It takes understanding and inference and basically just perceiving the future in order to see what will happen and mistakes that could occur in order for you to fail. So, next time you want to do something, ask other people how they failed. Uh, but try it. Try it. Say a little bit nice. Be like, "Well, what happened here? Did why you? What, what happened? Why'd you mess up?" And hopefully you'll find a bunch of ways to fail, which is great because that will figure out the ways to succeed. So if you don't agree or you do agree, comment down below and let me know you help. Let me know that I help or let me know that I ramble on too much. So either way, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Hopefully you can learn something that you couldn't otherwise simply because you listened to my advice. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. It's unsubscribe. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know why you're watching this end of the video. But uh, thanks anyway if you are. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. So I want to talk to you guys today about something that really negatively affects me and my goals. So one thing that I've been tr I wanted to do recently.